Wow, the weather bomb's great. There is so much wind. Didn't get much sleep last night. It wasn't so bad this morning, but I don't know if you can hear this, but it's howling a gale right now. So I made it to the other start of the Heafy Track. So when I was in Gold Bay, I wouldn't go over that bridge that took you to the start of the Heafy Track. Well, I made it to the start on the Karamea side. So here is the start of the Heafy Track. And today I'm not going to go for a walk along it. So this is the beach by the start of the heavy track and there's signs everywhere that says no swimming it's not safe I mean really would you want to go swimming in this I'm on the road going up to um, Deniston coal mines and sort of saw this view and had a stop to have a look. It's just amazing. What a gorgeous view. I'm at the Deniston coal fields, which is a historic area, and it's at the top of the Deniston incline. And the incline is locally called the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, it lowered coal 518 metres in altitude from amongst the clouds of the Rockford plateau to Cons Creek railway yard at the base of the hill. 84 wagons travelled the incline a day, around 350 tonnes of coal, and it was hewn from underground, 
hauled by rope road across the barren terrain, weighed, screened, stored and pulled into wagons and the coal was transported to Westport Wharf and dropped into the holes awaiting colliers. So it's quite an amazing history that they have here. So today I went to Karamea. Actually I'm in Westport so I've driven from Westport to Karamea and back. I didn't stop there because there didn't seem to be much to see and do actually in Karamea itself. But it was a beautiful drive up. It was amazing. And um, as you will see I went past Karamea at two as far as you can go which is the start of the Hefe track which is opposite end of where I tried to go when I was in Golden Bay but wouldn't drive over the bridge. Anyway, um, it was just, yeah, beautiful scenery. I'm pleased I went for that trip. What did surprise me going up to Karamea was um, I thought I'd find a cafe and have some lunch while I was away. There were no cafes anywhere. Um, I think there was a pub that was selling food in a couple of places but absolutely no cafes. So I was really surprised about that. Oh, you 
well. Doesn't seem to be anything too much foul about it at the moment. But um, there's not much here. A lot of vegetation and the lighthouse. And it's very difficult to even get close to the lighthouse because of the vegetation. Anyway, this is Cape Fear Foul Wind. I've just been for a drive around Carter's Beach, which is about, I don't know, 5k or 7k or something from where I am now. And I had a look where the um, campground was there. And in some ways, I wish I had parked up there. However, at Carter's Beach, it's a top 10 holiday park, which means it's a lot more expensive. But this web, this website, this campsite is it stinks. There's a smell here, and I mean, when I arrived, I honestly thought something was wrong with my truck that something mechanical had gone wrong with it because the smell was just awful. But when I was still smelling it that night, it's like, can't be. And then it was like, oh gosh, there's something burnt out in my caravan. Thank, thank gosh, the last thing I need was something to go wrong again with the caravan. But when I came back after, the next day after I'd been out, I could smell it. And it's like, what the hell is that? So it's nothing... To do with me but it's something around here really stinks and it was so bad that I was actually awake at one o'clock this morning I couldn't breathe and I almost was having a panic attack which of course doesn't help because you can't breathe properly in a panic attack but it was that bad so I don't know how I'm gonna put up with the next couple of days but I might have to leave but we'll see, see how it goes. But um, yeah, it's just, it's not just this campground either. I can, I could smell it when I pulled out of it and actually driving in today, I wasn't even anywhere near it and I could started to smell it again. So I don't know what the heck's going on here. Mm -hmm. 